Odion Ju de Gallo. Odion. <laughs> you, <laughs> you welcome back to the Super Eagles fold. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's been over two years. Yeah. How's it been? How was it when you were not with the team? Well, I've been watching the team from afar and uh, they've been doing well and I'm happy to be back. Happy to see the boys again and happy to, to give them my support and whatever way the coach needs me and to support the team. I'm here and I'm back for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at what stage did this conversation of Igalo return, Igalo return, <laughs> at what stage did this conversation start? Since the day I announced my retirement. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I've had so many things on the internet now that you know me, I don't pay attention to them say, them say, or what whatever negative vibes people say, you know, on social media, you know, I'm not that kind of guy that made problem, you know, since 2019, I resigned, even the coach of the team, then you can see the, we've been in communication for me to come back, which I've said is, I don't think I want to come back and, but the pressure was too much now, even before I came now, it was too much that I have to even tell my agent to speak to President Hamadou and the coach to tell them because when I signed for my team in Saudi Arabia, I told them I'm not playing for the national team anymore. But to get my release to come was kind of difficult, you know. So most importantly, I'm happy to be back to give my support. The coach spoke to me and learned and all that, you know. I had so many people, even there's a guy in UK, I don't know what it's called, said I paid my way to the national team. I was just laughing, you know. I've never, even when I was not in this position I am, in my life and in my career, paid, not to talk of this position I am in my life, not in my career, and what I've done for my country with the national team, then I will not pay to come play. So it's, the guy tried to defame my character, but I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy that makes problem. If not, it would have heard from a lawyer, but it's, it is what it is. Everybody have their opinion about me. I don't care, but not to the extent you start saying I, about bribing, which is very bad, but I'm not going to go into that. The most important thing I'm here to support the guys and I'm really happy to be back. I spoke to the coach. I said, I'm coming back here to support the team. I'm not coming to destabilize the team. They have a young squad. The team is doing well. They will say, ah, you want to come? You want to take position? For no, I'm not going to drag position with nobody. No, see me. Before I left the national team, I personally called us him. I said, I'm leaving this position number nine is for you. If you work hard, you're, you're going to rule Nigeria for long. And I'm happy seeing him doing well. I'm here to support him. Before I came, I told the coach, Osima is the number one striker here. I just want to come to support whatever way you want me to support. And I'm here to do that, you know. And even they said I, I tried to fight for number nine Jesse, this, that, that, that. I was just laughing. So many things has been said, you know. Uh, before I came, I don't want to mention the person in the top NFF official said, uh, about Jesse and all that, I said, like a week ago, I said, no, number nine Jesse, I left. It's a similar that is using it. And I'm coming back. I'm going to play with any Jesse. I said, no, a similar is a young player. He's going to understand. I said, no. This is part of my condition for me to come back. I'm not going to go if you don't agree to this, you know. He's going to keep the number nine Jesse. I said, okay. If number 19 Jesse available, they said no, it's Paul. I said no. Number 29, they said the Jesse is not to 21. I told them they should give me any Jesse available, but number 9 Jesse, no way I'm going to put it on because uh -huh. I personally left it when I retired. 
and Victor is using it and is doing well, we're not going to start talking about Jesse. I can play with my best skin for Nigeria. I'm a patriotic Nigerian. If it means me playing without shirt in this team, I'm going to play. It's not shirt that scores the goals. It's not shirt that does whatever. So, like I said, I'm not back here to cause any problem or anything. It's never my way. People that knows me knows that me, I'm not a problematic person. I'm just here to support and get in whatever way I can for this team to keep pushing forward. So we're not we're not gonna start disputing about Chelsea. It's just a share, just a number. So after all, it's somebody that put it on before I took over and I left is putting it and and I'm happy, Victor. We are from the same state, same industry, and he's doing well. I'm really, really happy. We do communicate, we do talk every time. And when his call goes, wish him well and all that. And I'm happy. He's doing very well. And I pray and hope he continues doing well, scoring goals both in club and in country, and being at the top there. It's his time to shine. And I pray nobody will take it away from me. It's his time. And I'm not here to take nobody's chance. So I'm happy to be back and if the coach say he wants me, he knows why he wants me to be back, you know. So I don't pay attention to whatever people are saying, you know, because I've seen so many messages, even record of live Instagram, one guy in UK did was saying so many things about me. Like I said, I don't care about them. I don't know them, so whatever they say does not even have value to me or this value who I am and all that. So the most important thing is the team. I'm happy and whatever way the coach wants me to give my support, whether from the bench, whether from the stands, whether playing, I'm going to give my best. As long as I'm putting on the green, white, green jersey, I'm going to give my best 101%. As has always done before. That's what I'm gonna keep doing. Over two years, what has changed? Have you noticed any change? Sorry, aside from having a new media officer, <laughs> <laughs> well, what has changed? A lot of new faces, young boys, uh, more technical crews. I saw we have nutritionists now, more physios, more people working to help the team. That's good. That like, that means we are we are we are moving forward, you know. Because when I was here two years ago, we don't have nutritionists, we don't have more uh, people that are more physios. But now we have more physios, so you don't have to wait for you to get massage and all that. So more technical crews and more people to help the team to to move forward. So it's very good. But then can we go back to your return? Who did you consult? Who did you speak with? Okay. That eventually. Uh, said, okay, you can go ahead, bro, or you can go ahead, son, or you can go ahead, <laughs> uncle. Who did you speak with? First of all, I prayed about it. I spoke to my mom because uh, after the World Cup, there were so many things that happened, death threats and all that, and I said, I'm not going back and all that. That's what, one of the reasons I even came back, you know. Coach Genetra was there for me, even when, after the World Cup, I was getting dead threat and I said, I'm not going to play again for Nigeria and all that. He called me, he said, even the best player in the world miss chances. You don't have to kill yourself because of this. Forget about what they are saying. When you come back, you start scoring. The same mouth that is saying bad about you, say good about you. Come, I trust you, I believe in you. He gave me the confidence. That was, I needed him then. And he was there for me. So now he's been calling me, messaging me to come back and all that. It's like he needed me now. Will I turn him down? A man that was there for me. No, that's why. To this, I said since I resigned, yeah, game after game, he's been telling me when are you coming back? When are you coming back? And all that, you know. But the pressure is too much. I said, okay. If he was there for me and he needed me now, I have to be there for him too. So that's why I'm there. I'm back and. Like I said, I prayed about it. I talked to my mom and I talked to my pastor about it. We prayed and said, okay, if you really want to go, you go. I said, of course, it's my country. It's a privilege to pray for Nigeria. 
Nigeria is over 200 million people. If you have the opportunity to play, nobody's going to turn it down, you know. But it's because of the circumstances around it before with problems and all that. That's why it was not conducive then. You know, so. But my mom said, well, my son, if you want to go, I give you my blessings. You go, God will protect you, God will guide you. And all that. So I consulted my mom, consulted my pastor, pray about it, and I make a decision. You know? So it's my decision to come back, even I know the pressure was much. I'm happy I'm back. What do you think of when the ball gets to you? You see the defense, you see the goalkeeper, and you see the goalpost. What makes Odion Igalo a little striker? You know, we striker, we've been judged by goals, you know. And still working out, I'm not a perfect man. I do miss chances too, but like I said, I take my chances too. So, and I pray when it comes, I'll take it by God's grace. For me, it's for the team I'm here for to work hard playing not playing so as long we keep winning that is the most important thing you know Simon is scoring game after game he's doing well and i'm happy so that's the most important thing you know this team win or keep falling forward and all that so i'm happy all right we've been with odion judy gallo super eagle striker he's right here and he's told you for those that say odion Paid his way back. Odion has told everyone, <laughs> not at this stage <laughs> no, of my career. No, no, no. <laughs> um, it's been long, bro. Over 16, 16 years in professional football. See, now I'm going to pay my way to the national team. I have never before. And I would never. Saying it anywhere, saying it in front of anyone, I would never. Welcome back to the amen. Super Eagles, Ojo Thank you. More much. goals to those legs. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah.